wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. of hungry fish here. Hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him, he will reject my offer of peace, and our conversation will have a surprise ending.
Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha! <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandebridgeshire, we take what is yours! <laughs> what has Whitman done to her? No time to wait. We must free her first. Your side, son. <laughs> Raise your shade to me. Fucking try it. God grant me strength. I haven't seen Wigman since we breached the wall. Regroup at the longhouse. We'll surely find him there. Saxon breathing. No prisoners. No mercy. Hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep the rat busy! <laughs> Any man who fights for Wigmund dies! Oh, <laughs> 
Plague-ridden body feed my fields. No sign of Whitman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating a morning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Smart. 
to build this tunnel. This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The traitor marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The traitor must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. A trail of yellow paint drops. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beach here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel.
Markets are up and running again. Soma doesn't waste time. <gasps> I sometimes think Reda makes these up each morning just to keep us all busy. Success means a reward. I get for you. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. This could help you in your travels. You would look very powerful with that. This is the current fashion. Amazing eye for these things. You never know when this might come in handy. Yes, this is a good look. else I will see you later uh. Soma to understand your people well I should better know you how did you rise to the rank of Yaskuna my King Guthrum led the Summer Army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city, to encourage trade so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it, and a balm to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain. No public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people. My friend. My family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young, but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grandbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Greetings, mighty Eivor. I will join you. My plane is always ready.
There's no need for this. Hey, what are you doing? You, Dane, come close. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Oh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. But your rhythm is clumsy. 
You will never outpace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. While it's quaint that you think you can best me, I must say I don't think you will. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment! I... I... I need to think! Give me time! Fergal the Faceless, or Fergal the Wordless? No! You get ready! The killing blow is... It's coming! It's... Fergal? Hello? with the best. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me. Got a wager in you. Purse a bit light. Man your horn.
Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. I didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I must be on my way. You there? Did you see anything strange? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her man all night. She can really put it away. Soma is just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. 
Searching her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wakeman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Ambitions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain, a lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled, and Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Bjerna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Bjerna, well... Bina thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Bina is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, eh? Red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. What should we see there? The hood should work. Leave no house unburned. For licking Elderman Whitman and Spooks. Out! Out! Out!
movement. Burning roof thatch, the steady turf. Now that was something. Wickman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutter himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. <laughs> <laughs> 